Okay, so. Okay, so my. My argument for afterlife was uh, if it will lacks the concept of time, then it will lack uh, space as well. Because uh, what is time? I believe uh, that uh, time is something that uh, uh, actually sorry for my bad English, but time is principle of cause and effect, and uh, well, everything. Well, let's 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 make sure we. Uh... To, to avoid shotgunning on either side, let's see what we know what outerversal is. Uh, what, what, what's the definition of outerversal that we're using? That's beyond the concept of space and time? Uh, yes. Okay, so. That's. Uh, uh... But before we start on that, do you know how the outerversal system works? Outerversal system, uh, yes, I mean, I have uh, literally three definitions for outerversal. No, th 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 there's just the one, but there are different qualifiers in the same tier. Uh, do you know how the metaphysics system works? Uh, metaphysical, uh, yes, it's something spiritual. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and so, explain Meaning, uh, it's... It's, it's all right, here. Uh, I'll get the basic definition. Metaphysics is the study of all things beyond tangible nature. There are four levels to metaphysics. There's concepts, which which are both all outerversal and non-outerversal concepts aggregately. Principles, which transcend concepts because there are a set of rules that govern them. Systems, think of a religion, science, Python script, computer system. Uh, anything that has a set of rules and uses a set of things to... Uh, extrapolate what that system is, and then you have something called axioms. Axioms are true by themselves. They, they are they are circularly true within reality. You don't have you don't have to prove an axiom to be true because you believe it to be true without evidence. Outerversal uses the metaphysics oh. system. Uh, all fiction wiki, CSAP, and versus battle wiki use a garbage offshoot of metaphysics, basically. That's that's what we're dealing with without reversal. Uh, they, I believe, CSAP uses Platonism for uh, auto reversal, but okay. Well, Platonism is within the domain and concept, but it doesn't explain the metaphysics as a whole. Uh, but okay, okay. Uh, yes, but, yes, okay, but uh, yeah, okay. you go. We're, but we are clear on that now, right? J just to make sure we don't contradict each other. Uh, yes, okay. So, transcending the concepts of space and time will be classified as autoversal. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, apolog uh, my apologies for the interruption. Go ahead and start on your argument. I'm going to mute my mic. Okay, so my argument was that if afterlife lacks the literal, con literal concept of time, then it will lack space as well, conceptually, because what is time? Time is uh, the principle of cause and effect, and uh, uh, you can't, nothing can exist without cause and effect. Uh, uh, if Big Bang happened, if anything is happening, it's uh, because of cause and effect. I am telling you something, I want to tell you something, cause, and I explain it to you, effect. Okay? So, uh, I mean, uh, if time is not present there, the literal concept of time, then space should be not present there conceptually, and uh, then it it is transcendental to I mean the living world, the living world's dimensionality, and living world's dimensionality is space and time. If right. afterlife is a realm which lacks space we'll and that. time conceptually. We'll get, we'll get First, let's deal, let's, let's deal with the whole time and space thing. You do not need time to get to outerversal. You just need space. Time is something that works as a filtering system within space. Uh, beyond Transcending the concept of time in of itself is impressive. That's the main issue. My second issue is cause mm -hmm. and effect would be a system relative to like what's in the third dimension. How a fourth dimensional entity and a fifth dimensional entity would view cause and effect would be inherently different from us. So it's kind of an odd way of putting it. I, I agree, Dragon Ball has at least a fifth dimensional cosmology. 
but then even when you lack like the concepts of space and time, it has to be beyond infinite dimensions. Otherwise, uh, if they like a third or fourth dimensional concept of space time, we can still make that uh, as a statement without contradicting in any way with what outerversal would be. Not that we're contradicting it. But there are third and fourth dimensional uh -huh. concepts of space and time that we have to take into okay, account, okay. Not, not just a literal outerversal one. No, but that's the thing. Something can't be dimensionless and dimensional at the same time, okay? Well, that's a little but, like... But, but, but here's the thing, right? If they lack a notion of what the physical world views as the concept of space and time, we can just simply say that they use their own form of space and time within the afterlife, which I'm perfectly fine with saying as a statement. It just being dimensionless doesn't mean that you're out of reversal. It just means that you're zero dimensional. You have no time, no space, no vectors. That doesn't mean out of reversal. That's like saying a composite void's out of reversal because it's a void because there's nothing in it. Like if I had an empty box and there was nothing in the box, it'd be out of reversal by definition, basically. That's why we can't use zero dimensional constant or constants. We we have to use something that transcends Hilbert spaces, like uh, conceptually. Because Hilbert spaces contain an infinite amount of dimensions of space and an infinite amount of dimensions of time. So if you conceptually transcend, uh, transcend a Hilbert space, that would be out of reversal. It's just what you're telling me, however, supports the fact that Dragon Ball very clearly has a more than just simply 4D cosmos, which I don't have an issue with. Like, we're talking about, like, a verse with, like, metaphysical, I'm sorry, sorry like, metafictional scaling. But then, like, metafictions in of yes. themselves follow the same problem as, like, the layers issue. Where a meta of something is just a box that holds, like, the fiction within it, right? So, it's not even, like, out of Ursula, even by okay. that definition. Like, a metafiction would just be the all-encompassing fiction that contains all other fictions inside it. It's different from a layered issue. A layered issue just means there's another level on top of that. But a meta state of something means to completely transcend something on the level of encompassing it, almost like it's a universe, right? And clearly, Dragon Ball has been demonstrating the whole metafictional scaling without a Raleigh episode, so naturally that'll extend to the entire cast. So if we're looking at something goofy like 5 or 6D, I have no issue with it at all. In fact, if we want to use that to upscale heroes like 7, 8, or like 90 or something, that's perfectly fine too. Dragon Ball's been evolving its scaling meta for years. Uh, actually, oh, okay. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Shit. Okay, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. My, yes, my, okay. I can hear you. Yeah, uh, my mic is being goofy. When, uh, anyway, sorry if I'm going on a bro, tangent, but do you see my problem here? Yes, you are saying that uh, a universe should have uh, a, like uh, an infinite hierarchy mm -hmm. so it can reach that outer level with mm -hmm. a statement of being beyond the concepts of space and time, right? Yeah, like, like uh, let's get the part that I agree with out of the way. The Dragon multiverse is at least a low multiverse because it contains multiple universal space-times. But then the problem is, it's like the same thing as the six-dimensional statement of Doom. That's like a six-dimension in topography. That's not a six-dimension in stacking. Like, there's like thousands of dimensions according to like the Super Boo feat. But then that's just like thousands of universal space-times contained within like a universe. So that's like either just a multiverse or like a fifth dimensional universe. And then you got like the whole Trunks parallel world shenanigans that just like means that there's an infinite amount of even like space time continuums. There's an infinite amount of Beerus's, infinite amount of Goku's, etc. Yes. etc. But then that's like still below Hilbert spaces, and Hilbert spaces are like still below outer. Well, a Von Newman uh, universe should be. The qualification for uh, low universal, but uh, uh, I don't, actually well, countable. Uh, actually, I'll actually go ahead, like, countable continue. infinity and uncountable. Yes. Uh, I I was just gonna let you continue. 
Oh, I was I was being rude. My apologies. Oh no no problem. So okay, I will just go over what was I explaining. Uh, well, the problem is uh, authors uh, don't actually always like understand what is order versus right. Uh, well, uh, this goes for Toriyama as well because uh, do you think Toriyama actually understands how a place without concepts of time would work? No, he don't. He just created a place called Afterlife, uh, which uh, once you analyze via guidebooks and you look at uh, the properties, you can easily conclude that it's object objectively universal because it's not uh, uh, going to fit the definition of autoversal like 100% within the actual series and people actually try to see if it's uh, uh, you know like fitting that a hundred percent because literally by that logic it's uh, debunks like all of the fictional autoversal constructs and everything right. so but see he, but here's like the small issue I, I, I I'd have with that it kind of goes back to the explanation I provided earlier, why like a zero-dimensional construct, or sorry, a zero-dimensional concept would not be the same as an outerversal concept. Even in the term low outerversal is like infinite dimensional plus, so that's like still below outerversal by definition. It's, uh, it's just an extension of high hyperversal as a tier. It doesn't actually go to outer. People have a misconception that there's a middle ground between high hyper and yes. outer, and that's well, simply not the case. Actually, no outerversal uh, tier uh, will be something like uh, when a universe is like uh, have all possible kinds of uh, dimensions in it. So uh, okay, but then it's like just a layered, in infinite dimensional space that's like it's still bound on some level. Yes, by space that will be high hyper plus. Yeah, that's it's still on some level bound by space and time by definition. That's not mm -hmm. outer. Uh, well, uh, my you see, if uh, we have a zero-dimensional construct, and uh, I am saying that it's uh, like beyond the like transcend space and time at the same time. Okay, so what I mean by that, uh, that a uh, universal construct, I mean can't have dimensionality in it because uh, it just transcends them anyways. So. If it is transcending like any dimensions, like it is stated to transcend space and time, and uh, it's consist meaning the guidebooks and every other thing are saying that it is dimensionless while transcending. Uh, it doesn't matter if it transcends like four dimensions, like three dimensions. There are some mistranslations of this, like Daijinshu. Uh, for world guide where it says it transcends uh, the dimensionality of a uh, living world that humans cannot perceive and all but uh, uh, that's my point here if uh, autoversal constructs won't have dimensionality anyways because no, no, it's not that they, they lack will be... dimensionality is that they're beyond dimensionality completely it's not that they lack it it's that whatever outerversal is they're bound metaphysically to that system it's just when see yes, here, here's the they thing, are right? beyond well hold on right mm. see whenever you go from like interacting with dimensions to going to outerversal you're flip flopping instead of using physics you're now using metaphysics metaphysics is its own beast entirely mm. like uh it, it is completely its own beast like we're we're t we're talking on the level mm -hmm. of, of of like uh you have to like uh. uh if you're an abstract entity and you're more influential than another entity that's out of reversal, that in of itself is the increase in power. We're not even using the same uh, linear increases in power that you would be where you transcend one other person. Uh, it's effectively similar in the way that it's applied, but it's completely different. So, e like, uh, Dragon Ball's cosmology is mostly topographical. That's kind of the thing. And even when you use the guidebook stuff, it's saying that the physical universe and the afterlife are above it in the way that's topographical. The physical universe does its own thing, the afterlife does its own thing, and like the demon realm, like the empty void kind of also does its own thing on the bottom of the universe. But it's all topographical, right? Now, ag again, I've agreed that it's like at least 5D to like maybe complex multiversal, when you like throw all of Dramble's aggregate cosmos together, 
But then that isn't really outerversal though. That's just like, uh, again, like complex multiversal, because there's still like the third or fourth dimensional concepts of space and time also. Because not all concepts are outer, and not all concepts are equal. You are saying that uh, uh, afterlife uh, will have uh, some kind of philosophical dimensionality. Well, I don't. If I'm correct. Well, well, I don't think everything metaphysical is outerversal. Like, look no further than like a ghost movie. Like, just because you're a ghost, it doesn't mean you're outerversal or something. It just means you're metaphysical, right? Because like the term concept means it's all outerversal and non-outerversal concepts being put together in it. And concept obviously is mm -hmm. loosely used here. So okay, then, so uh, see, uh, here, here's what you need like to do. Them? Well, he, he, here, here's the easiest way oh. to resolve the issue. Uh, if you go back to your argument, we're still running into the issue of how does that compare to Hilbert spaces? Because you have to go directly above Hilbert spaces before you can even get to outerversal. Otherwise, we're still working with the realm of dimension and what a relative sense we're applying it to. We could say it's fourth dimensional or fifth dimensional or sixth dimensional, but that's not really the issue. What, what you're getting at here mm -hmm. is that you're saying it's not topographical, but it's stacking. We need something to tell us that it's stacking on the level that's above Hilbert spaces. Because it's the same with the Union Archetypes argument. Just because something is used as a storytelling element does not necessarily mean it's being used as a scaling element, regardless of what that writer is using that concept for. Uh, well, I actually believe Dajun Shoes and uh, like uh, guidebooks like Dragon Ball Super Exciting Guides were made to exclusively tell uh, people about uh, the cosmology of uh, Dragon Ball. Not, oh, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, don't, I, don't well, I don't disagree with that. It's just like we, we need some way, shape or form to put it above Hilbert spaces before we can even like ask if it's out of Versal because otherwise we're still just messing with dimensions. Like, again, you could put the cosmos wherever you want, 5, 6, 7, D. But this is fucking O'Reilly we're talking about, who had, the, like, the metafictional bullshit in, like, that one episode of Dragon Ball Super. Like, that's, that, that's some serious shit right there. I'm not going to undermine that, for sure. But then, like, that's still not outer. Like, we, we need something to getting it above Hilbert Spaces first. Because, like, Hilbert Spaces, again, uh, when you're, a Hil when you're in a Hilbert space, that is an infinite amount of dimensions of both the spatial and temporal variety. That's 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 kind of the thing. Okay. Like, uh, so, have, you, have okay, you played the no game more. Warframe before? What? Have you played the game Warframe before? Uh, yes, uh, bro, uh, but wait, okay. So I actually see the problem here. You can take this as a W. I say, I'm saying that, uh, yeah, you can say that you won this debate because uh, now I will need to prepare an argument for Hilbert spaces and uh, do more research well, uh... on actual uh well uh yes uh, you, you seem actually pretty cool so I'll, I'll continue the discussion for a little while but uh like uh, oh, okay. uh but in the game warframe I'll, I'll just make my example uh in the quest for the czar angels of the czar men specifically uh we learn what like the mm -hmm. void is when uh, consciousness uh, when when void and consciousness meet it creates a thing it's like it's a concept right uh, and there's war, and there's this warframe named Equinox who represents the concept of duality. Normally, you could say that you can take that mm -hmm. and say it's transdual because it's a conceptual duality. But the problem is, is that there's another okay. set of statements specifically referring to void power, and who the warframe scale to is fifth dimensional, right? So because we have a stop gap okay. in place, which is fifth dimensional, we can't use Equinox, the warframe, to get to outer versal. Because the stop gap is Equinox scales below Han Hao, who scales below the man in the wall. I'm saying for Dragon okay. Ball, there's something similar in place, which is a stop gap, and the problem is it's dimension based. 
that's kind of what it all goes back to. That's 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 all I'm saying here. Uh, you seem like a pretty cool guy. Well, you kind I'm of understand not... what I'm saying, right? Yes. Uh, well, I believe with Dragon Ball also have a, have a infinite hierarchy because Koyama uh, once said before he was getting threatened to get killed on Twitter, but uh, okay, uh, uh, like when before uh, he was saying it that uh, yeah, ask the author this dad uh, dad this, hmm. uh, and uh, like when the first time people asked him. If you are reliable or not, and he said we can we can't contradict what uh, uh, the office like says and everything, and he also said that uh, Dragon Ball have like infinite hierarchy, mm. like stacked on top of each other. But right, actually, I need to I'll, do more, more what, research on that. I'll meet right you in, in the middle here uh, mm. on that statement because it is a statement that can be used. We can just say Goku's like infinite 4D because Zeno could like. Erase like that universe and all the universes because like he'd scale above Zamasu, right? So there clearly is an infinite stacking hierarchy oh, right. being used, but it seems like an infinite multiversal one. Now again, if you put Dragon Ball 5D or 6D, you know that's also infinite because that's like scaling above other kinds of infinite, right? So you can still use the statement. Okay. It, it's, it's just like the infinite hierarchy statement isn't necessarily an application to like say Hilbert spaces. Okay, so bye. All right. I will... Yo, my guy, actually, I'm gonna throw you an invite to my server. You seem like a pretty chill guy. So, uh, you know, if you want to oh, talk okay. to the people in there, like straight up, you don't know, talk to them. Uh, do you want me to post this on YouTube or just leave it on the computer for any reason? Uh, no, you can post uh, this on YouTube. I don't actually care. It will be actually more educating for people. Okay, okay. Again, you're 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 a pretty chill guy. I honestly expected to come in here and like have an argument, but you're you're actually like like on God, you have a bigger pair of balls than like fucking drip sauce. I'm I'm gonna just say it right now. <laughs> you got a way bigger pair than that guy. Like seriously, like I, I actually you you have my respect for that. Like I'm not I'm not even lying. Uh, you're, you're you're a cool guy, my guy. Uh, ha have a good one. You know. Thanks. Bro. Yeah. Okay. All right. Peace, bro. Have a good one. All right.